Hello everybody, welcome back to the Farming Simulator 25 Tips and Tricks video. Today we're going to talk about moving your mod folder from the default location of Documents, My Games, Farming Simulator 2025, Mods, to a drive and folder of your choice on your PC, and why would you maybe want to do that? Well, for me, the reason why some folks may want to do that is going to be fairly straightforward and fairly simple. Disk space. Some folks live and die by their mods. And as such, they could have not hundreds. They could have thousands. They could have tens of thousands of mods. And they could have they could have 20, 30 maps. Maps are big. Well, typically, everything goes in one giant folder. And as you continue to progress through your farming simulator career, as you accumulate mods, depending on your PC and how much disk space you have in your documents folder, you may start to run out of space. You may start to be a little bit constrained with respect to your mod space. And Giants has a really easy way of changing where the game looks for your mods. So let's go ahead and shut the game down because you can't make this change with the game running and show you where you're gonna go to make the edit. And then bring everything back into the game and show you that it all worked. So if you go to Documents, My Games, Farming Simulator 2025, and look for a file called gamesettings.xml. This is gonna be the file that you're gonna to wanna to edit. So we're gonna right click and we're gonna say edit. I'm gonna be editing Notepad++ because I just like the way that it formats it. Once that file is open, we're gonna look for line number three. That is the line we need to modify. We have mods directory override, active equals false, directory C colon slash temp, quote, okay? We need to change these two values, false and the file path. So we're gonna change false to true. Basically we're telling the game that this override should be in effect. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to modify the path. Now, one thing to note, is gonna be the direction of this slash. Typically in Windows, you're gonna use this slash to denote a path, but in the XML, it is gonna want it this way. So we're going to put in the path that you have. For me, I created a folder on my D drive called Farming Simulator 25, and then I created a folder within it called Mods. So this is where I'm going to put my mods going forward. Once we make this change, denoting that we are gonna use the direction of the slash as it was shown in the sample. I'm gonna save the file and close it. Now this doesn't actually move your mods. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do before you fire the game up is to actually put your mods in that new location. So we go to, once again, Documents, My Games, Farming Simulator 2025, Mods. And here we're gonna find all of our mods that we had in the old default location. And we're gonna move them to our new mod location by simply right-clicking, dragging them over here and letting go. Pick and move, presto, there you go. Now we have moved our mods into our new location. Let's fire the game up and verify it all worked. With the game launched, we come to our downloadable content menu and we go to our installed and there they are. All the mods that we had in our old mod folder are now over here in our new mod folder location. The game sees them in our new mod folder location. And if we wanted to just randomly test something, well, we can come here, we can grab a different mod. Let's say the Kloss Jaguar and we can hit install. We see we are actively downloading it. 
So it will show up here. There we go. Downloads. Once it shows it's installed, it'll show here in the list. And then if we come over here and pull up our new mod folder location, right there we have the Kloss Jaguar pack in our new mod location, which is D, Farming Simulator 25, mods for me. It could be, well, literally nearly anywhere on your PC for you. We're going to come here. We're going to fire up our save game. We're going to have the ability to activate that and launch the game. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video as we kind of quickly run down through updating your mod folder location and why you might want to do that. If you've got any questions, please go ahead and put them down in the comments below. The biggest catch out is going to be paying attention to the direction of that slash, because if you don't put the slash in right, it's not going to work. And also moving your old mods from the old location to the new location, because changing the path doesn't actually make the game move those mods for you. Until next time, happy farming.